to my channel my name is Danielle and I hope you guys are doing well today is a very special day because I will be reviewing the new Fenty skin I literally just got the package in the mail just now so I'm in my bathroom so if it sounds a little bit different that's why backgrounds different everything's different okay okay so here is the package. It has all of the goods in it. I'm actually surprised at how this came, like their own custom packaging. Hello? So I was able to pre-order the products. So I think they dropped on the 31st of July and I was able to order, I think on the 29th or the 30th. So I just got my packages. It's been about a week later. So I have everything here and I'm really excited. So I've only watched one review, which is Arnell's review. And then I just watched other people uh, put it on. I didn't want to get too much reviews so that I have my own unbiased opinion. So everything came well packaged um, it was really secure nothing broke I have everything here intact so I really appreciate that uh, so I went ahead and put everything you know together took everything out and the only thing I want to say about the um, hydrovisor packaging is it's really cool because you're able to uh, refill it once this is done you're able to refill it and just put it back in which is awesome however the only thing I don't like and I, this could be my this could be my wrongdoing I don't know maybe I'm doing something wrong but I hate how easily it pops out so this is like to use it and then you do that to uh, put it away but it easily comes out so I don't like that but that's like the least of our problems. <laughs> so just a little bit of background about my skin. I have oily skin and I have uh, acne. So I'm excited to test these products out just to see how well they do with my skin. So far I haven't heard anyone say anything bad about it, like any negative reactions to their skin or anything like that. So I'm really, you know, I'm not expecting anything to go wrong. The product that I'm most excited about is the Fat Water, which is supposed to be a serum and a toner in one. If you can see, it's like thicker than a regular watery toner, but it's like thick enough to be a serum. So I'm really excited about that. And then we also have the Hydrovisor, which is a moisturizer and a SPF as well so I'm also excited about that I'm excited about everything I just love Fenty if you don't know I love Fenty um, but I'm also very opinionated about stuff so I can't lie like it's just not in my blood so I'm gonna tell you guys the truth about how I feel about these products so let's get into it so this is the Fenty skin total cleanser remove it all cleanser and it's supposed to remove everything makeup and dirt and all that stuff without stripping or drying so let's see how it goes all right so my face is wet and the way that you use the cleanser is you just twist the top and then pour it out let's get close let's see Ooh. it's creamy you know what it reminds me of it's like the same color as their primers, I think. All right, let's lather it. It lathers. All right. Mm. Oh, it smells like kind of sweet. Like, um, it's like kind of sweet and like slightly florally, but it's not overbearing. I actually really like, I really like the scent. Ooh, I kind of want to add some more water and see what it does. This feels really good. All right, so. Normally, I use Dr. Bronner's um, Castile Soap 
to wash my face. And that the Castile soap, if you've never used it before, it that is a soap that strips your skin. So immediately you can feel the difference of how dry or stripped it is. So like, you know that like, the sound that it makes like when your skin is like really clean that's how it would feel but this it feels it feels clean definitely my skin actually looks clean but it does not feel dry like like if i let my face dry right now it wouldn't feel tight and you know like how it usually feels when it's really dry so it feels supple it feels good Usually I don't like that, but I'm trying to like dive into different types of skincare instead of just like the really harsh stuff that I'm used to using. So this is pretty different. Like I have used um, cleansers like this before that makes my skin feel like feel like this. It feels really good, honestly. This is good. I'm gonna go ahead and just dry my face off. Just pat it dry a little bit with my. Um, with my rag. This is a clean rag, by the way. All right, so we're done with the cleanser. And now it's on to the product that I'm really the most excited about. It is the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. So it's a two in one. Okay, so it's supposed to instantly refine the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, even skin tone, and fights shine without stripping skin. Okay, so the directions say to use day and night on clean skin, apply over face with fingers, for external use only use as directed, of course. So I'm gonna use my fingers. Usually I apply my toner with a cotton round and I apply my serums with my hand, but we're just gonna go straight in. Okay. All right. This is how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna just rub it in and put it, ooh. Okay, okay. I see what they were saying about the fragrance. So it does have a fragrance, but, oh. It's kind of tingly. My face is like kind of tingling a little bit. I'm just like pressing it in and like smoothing it out. Okay, the smell is not overbearing. Um, it kind of smells like a serum would smell, but with like a slight florally sweet scent, like the same as the cleanser. But it's not, it's not bad. People were saying like it was ridiculous, but it's really not bad. But I didn't I don't understand why my skin was like tingling a little bit. I mean, usually with serums my face will kind of tingle, but I wasn't expecting that. I'm not mad at it, I just wasn't expecting it. Alright, so can you guys see how it's making my skin look? Okay, so this is how the toner looks on my skin. It feels very moisturizing. Like it, my face feels really supple. So I really like this. This did not disappoint. It feels really good. The smell is not too strong. And my skin feels really moisturized. I'm excited to put on the moisturizer to see how well it pairs with the toner. That's like my favorite part in skincare, just to see how well and like how nicely moisturized my skin feels after so let's get into that so this is the fenty skin hydrovisor invisible moisturizer broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen and you get 50 milliliters which is 1.7 fluid ounces and you're able to refill it so it comes in this and then you put it in the container like that and you just twist it like that. So like I said in the beginning, the only thing I don't like about the packaging is even if it's closed this way, it can still come out. I don't like that just for like storing purposes, but it's not a big, big deal. All right, so we're gonna get into the moisturizer. 
Let's pump it up a little bit. Ooh. So that is how it looks. Again, it's reminding me of the primer in terms of color. It's reminding me of the primer. So let's go ahead, put it on. This has a scent. This has a really strong scent. But it feels really good. I love how this feels. This feels really good. The scent, it's like fruity. It reminds me of like a grapefruit maybe, or a peach and grapefruit. If you don't like scents, this one might be a problem for you. But this feels really good though. And it doesn't, you know how some moisturizers make your skin feel really heavy? Like it's just laying on top of the skin? This does not feel like that. Like it's, it's thick enough to like lock in moisture, but it's like thin enough to really seep into the skin. I really like this. I like this. All right, so this is a close-up of my skin. I really like the sheen on my skin. I like this healthy glow, and I really, really like that it has SPF in it so I can go outside with a moisturizer and an SPF all in one. That's like my favorite thing because it's so hard to find SPF that doesn't make you look ashy. So I really like this. I really, really like it. All right, so final review. Overall, I really enjoyed the products. I think that the cleanser did exactly what it said it's supposed to do, which is keep my skin soft and moisturized, and it didn't strip my skin, so I really like this. I'm gonna be using it all the time just to make sure that I really do like it and I get a better feel for it. This is just my first impression, but I really did enjoy it. So if you want to try it out, I do think it's worth it. I think it's worth trying it out. Just know that it has a slight scent. If you don't like scents, then you might not like this pro these products, but um, the, the cleanser does not have a really strong scent. It does have a scent though. I enjoyed it. I did like it. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I do want to try it with makeup though, so maybe I'll come back and tell you guys how I feel about it. Um, when I try to take off my makeup with it. So the next step is the fat water. I think the fat water was probably my favorite and like the most fun to try. Just because it's a toner and serum in one, I really like that idea. I'm gonna use it over time to see how it does with my dark spots and um, toning and stuff like that like it says to do. But first impressions, I really did like it. I like how it's not too thick and it's not too thin and it keeps my skin really moisturized, really nice and glowy. I really appreciate that. So I do recommend this. Again, it does have a scent. It's not as strong though. And the last product, which is the Hydrovisor Moisturizer and Toner in One. This product, I do really like it. I really like how it keeps my skin feeling nice and moisturized. It added to that glow that the toner gave me. So I really, really like that. The only downside is how strong the smell is. And, uh, oh, it does lock, wait. It does lock. So I guess I had to like pump it to really lock it in. Okay, never mind. Completely disregard what I said about the packaging. Love the packaging, okay? So the only downside to this moisturizer is the scent. It is stronger than the rest of the products, but it's not a big deal to me because it's not as strong. The scent isn't bad. If it was stink, then I would have had a problem, but it's really not that bad. If you have a strong intolerance to scent, I don't think you should purchase these products because they do have a scent. But this moisturizes and as you can see, my skin looks really glowy, really pretty, so I really, really like it. So that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys go and purchase the products and let me know what you think about it. I'm excited. I'm really excited to try it again. I'm happy that I had a good 
experience with it. So yeah, just one last look at my skin. Look at that. Oh wow. This looks so good. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. It's a dream.